There's a thousand dollars just in that one item. Holy shit. So Victoria's locked down again. Now that doesn't give you the excuse to just sit home and drink profies all day. One or two here and there is all right though, isn't it? It made me think about doing another little video on just some different ways of sourcing that isn't op shops and thrift stores and garage sales and your usual suspects that we all love to do. A couple of ways you can sort of source from home and the very final one is an absolute banger and it is the best way in my opinion to get stock. So stay tuned for that one. But uh, I'm gonna go over a couple and I'm gonna show you some examples of a couple of things that I've picked up. Another way of sourcing is within the community. Now, people come in and out of reselling all the time and even myself, I've jumped in and out of different sort of little niches and things that I used to sell and do all right with, I just don't touch anymore. And sometimes people get out of it all, all together. They just don't want to resell anymore and it becomes either too much or they have other things going on and it just happens all the time. But we, we are in a great community and quite often I've had people reach out to me and they know the types of products that I like to sell. And they've hit me up and they said, look, I've got this stuff, do you want to buy it? I had someone approach me on Instagram, someone that I've talked back and forth with a little bit and they know the sort of things that I'm into and they've uh, offered up a little box of stuff and they showed me everything that was in it. They're good people and I'm really appreciative that they did reach out. I'm going to quickly bang through it, give them a bit of a shout out. So Brandon and Mon, I really appreciate this. I'm going to put their uh, Instagram handle here. So if you do want to go and give them a follow, they are a uh, reselling couple doing great things, but they've reached out, they've got a box of stuff and I'm going to quickly show you what I've got. So here she is here. Uh, pre-cut ready to go now there's some really good figures in here but we're going to go through them really really quick otherwise this is going to be a long video um lots of wrapping going on here oh look at that that is thick now this has been wrapped to perfection this is professional resellers here we've got a little note too uh hey brad thanks for the purchase we're glad it's going to someone that is going to appreciate it Thanks for helping us out whenever we ask. Hope you enjoyed the little extras that we chucked in, Brandon and Mon. Thank you very much, guys. Um, oh, now this is looking pretty good. We've got some old school foot scrape cards here. Terry Wheeler, Gary Cowton, we've got Johnny Reed, look, Teddy Whitten. Um, some beautiful cards there from the 70s. So that's a little extra there. Calvin, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate that. There's a little gift. Um, oh, hang on. We've got a couple of stubby holders too, so suck it. DX stubby holders. Well, that calls for a frothy break, doesn't it? The Viper. Randy Orton 25th Anniversary WrestleMania. Off the ropes, John Cena. The Heavy Gun Leashed Walker T. Ruthless Aggression, MVP. Two Tough Series, WF 1998, China and Ripple Hague. Look at these ones, these are absolute rippers. And as a big HBK fan, Shawn Michaels, Sweet Gin Music, Chris Jericho. Love these. And then the gifts, the cards, the stubby holders. I'm blown away with all that stuff. I really appreciate that, guys. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Bendy. Bendy in the ink machine, uh, Bendy in the ink machine. It's like a horror. This is Professor X from uh, Action Man. So, hey, they're pretty sweet. Um, I like them. And then we've got, oh, uh, Big Dog, Roman Reigns. So, that's a keeper. Uh, I'm just gonna stick one straight on the shelf. And you're not going anywhere, so. He And what a ripper. Vintage, bright Victoria stubby holder. So there's another one. Um, we'll go there. The next one's wholesale. 
And I've touched on that a little bit on this channel already, and a lot of other channels do it. And it's not something for everyone, don't get me wrong, if you're small scale, side hustle, all that. Wholesale is probably not the best for you, but this is something that I do a bit of, and I love doing it. I have multiple contacts now, and I've used a few quite often, and I really love getting stock that way. It comes to the door, you can go through it, and you can potentially get some gems out of it. And this particular company I've used quite a few times now, and I do like using them because they're just really easy to get along with. They send it straight out, it gets here, and you quite often get a few really good items. And this time around, it was something different. I've hit up on some jerseys, and we're going to go through it right here. But the best thing about this, I don't like mystery. I don't like mystery boxes. And this was a video call, so we could actually go through this, and I could talk over it with the guys, and they showed me exactly what was in this box. So, well, to an extent anyway. And then there was this one item that uh, really caught my eye, which sold the, do sold the deal for me. Sold the doll for me. It sold the deal for me. But uh, watch on, and you'll see. So I got the apprentice helping. He's uh, look, he's not a lot of help, but um, we're going to go through a couple of these. So basically, I've paid near on two and a half grand for this stock. So uh, the beauty of this one, being the wholesale deal, I actually got to go through it via video call, and I got to see what was in there. And there's one thing I seen that gave me a little hard on, and I'm going to get to that when I find it. I'm hoping it's actually in there. But um, when I seen that, my eyes lit up and it actually sold the deal for me. So that's why I purchased this box, but I've got to find it. So someone's found themselves a cubby in amongst these jerseys here. What do you think you're doing? Comfy? We're gonna go through these and see if we've got any money. Are we gonna make money? Yeah. How much money are we gonna make? Two. Two? Two what? Two thousand? I hope not. I paid more than that. So there's a... some baseball stuff, New York, um, basketball, if someone gets off it. There's a lot, a lot of basketball, NBA, Chicago Bulls, Derek Rose. So Derek Rose no longer there, but his stuff still sells for the Bulls. Um, no. Chris Bosch. And there's just tons of NFL, throwback NFL. I, I need to learn a few of the teams. I'm not a big NFL guy. I don't know a lot about it. I actually had this jersey I picked up in a um, op shop that I need to list. So uh, a bit, of, bit more basketball, a bit more. This one here, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's got a signature on it. So that's, uh, no, it doesn't always mean a lot, you know? I think that people hit me up on like Instagram and that and they find like a signed AFL hat and they're just like, oh, what's this worth? And it's worth the same as what it's worth unsigned, to be honest. There's a few of these NASCAR jerseys too. I don't know, anyone seen these before? The McDonald's, I had to do a bit of a research on this McDonald's stuff. It is an NBA thing, a bit of a promotional game. So these are really cool. Bucks, Allen. What's this bad boy? More FUBU. Fu I like FUBU. That's, they're gonna go really well. Now, here it is. This is what I was chasing. Holy shit, now. a Little bit of a mark there, but this is actually insane. I'm gonna tell you why. So I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's uh, getting on pretty dark, but. Now, last weekend, I went into an op shop. I was helping my sister move, and there was a little one near her house. Basically, I walked in and I found this Port Adelaide jumper from 1997. One of the inaugural jumpers, they came into the competition and some Port Adelaide footy stuff can go really well. Now, as soon as I seen that, I knew it was money. Firstly, you normally see it in a Seacom, but this was in a Nike. So Seacom was the retail sort of jumper back then. And it's not often you'll see an actual manufacturer, especially in an op shop. So it was $3, it was a large, it was in the kids section. 12 hours after listing, I threw out an offer to someone of $250 and they accepted. It's been posted, it's been delivered. Um, so it was a quick $3 into 250 bucks. Every team in the AFL seems to have, you know, a few rarer designs and whatnot that goes really well. And early Port Adelaide stuff, any Port Adelaide stuff is really collectible. Um, people really chase that stuff, but then I noticed just sort of, I was double checking comps because markets changing everything. And I seen this jumper go for a thousand dollars. 
Do I believe that it's authentic? Probably not. I, I'm thinking I'm going to reach out to this uh, seller on eBay and just ask if they went through with it because I do not believe it went for that price. I believe it's a very expensive jumper, but $1,000 is a lot of money, but you don't see them very often. And this one here is a Nike, just like the other one I had, and this is the preseason, which is even rarer. You don't see these very often. Now, when I did this video call and he said there was an AFL jumper, it was actually blurring out at the time, but when he held it up, I nearly pissed my pants because there's a thousand dollars just in that one item. Holy shit. It sealed the deal for me when I actually seen that. Regardless of whether that was authentic, that auction, I know that jump is worth a lot of money. It's gonna go really quick for bulk cash. And I, it just blew me away. So the only one AFL jumper that was in the lot that I've seen from that video anyway. I didn't see every, quite everything, but I seen enough to get me get the deal done. Uh, when I seen this in this video, I just, uh, oh man, I was like, holy shit, now I own one of these. Um, let's have a look at it. Once again, I apologize for the lighting, but often with this 90s stuff, you will see it as a Seekum. Now seeing it as a, on a Nike, is just amazing. So there is a little bit of a uh, mark there, but that's not gonna matter. Yeah, bit of throwback Port Adelaide, wowee. This is an absolute banger. This may be the best item that I've picked up all year. Basically getting this deal done, it's lucky for me, I do have a bit of knowledge in that area. I love my footy stuff, but wowee. Um, absolutely stoked to be getting that in there. And there's over 150 more jerseys in here to sell and we've seen some good stuff. So I'll show you some more. I'm not gonna go through all of it because we're gonna be here forever, but you know, I'm just gonna pull some stuff off the top and I did wanna find that one. But luckily that was near the top anyway, but I, I, uh, I'll show you a couple more. Pretty cool, embroidered Nike Sports 96. It's like a basketball. Yeah, that's uh, that's really different. I'm legit just gonna be picking through this shit all week. So, um, anyone that knows or had any experience in jerseys and shit, they're gonna know this stuff goes super well. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> now the final one, and I think it's the best way to get stock. Now we did have to leave the house for this. I know we're in lockdown, but we could go out for a bit of a walk, a bit of exercise, but I've touched on this channel before how important I think thank you cards are for your eBay business. Now, Business cards, do you have a business card? Do you hand out cards to people? Uh, I'm unsure, I haven't seen a lot of people that do this strategy, but I think this is the best way to get stock. And simple as this, I'll cover my details, but I have a card here that says we pay cash, and that I have an online business and that I sell things, and I'm always looking to purchase. Now on the back, it'll basically say my name and all the things that I like to sell. So whether it be old t-shirts, toys, Vinyl records, branded clothing, shoes, whatever. Um, depends what you sell, you slap that on there. But I actually go around and do some letterbox drops. Take the dogs, I love being active, love getting fit, and keep keeping healthy and all that sort of stuff. So I walk them nearly every day. And basically I can drop these in a letterbox. Now shout out to my wife, Kate. She actually recommended I go out and do this now because everyone's locked down here in Victoria again and they're probably having a bit of a clean out. So I thought I'd go around tonight and uh, drop a few off. Be prepared with these because you're probably going to get spammed with, you know, a lot of crap. I got, I got a message today with a lot of shitty furniture that's just no interest to me. But be very careful. Don't go out and drop 300, 400 in the one day. I recommend maybe once every two weeks go out and drop maybe 20 or 30. Because, look, in all honesty, you might only get one or two responses. But what happens if you get 30 responses of you know, thousand dollar buy-ins and you don't have the cash and it's really good stuff, could kind of suck. So just kind of pace it out, but it's an always an option for sourcing and they can send through some photos to you and it gives you the ability to look at it and go, look, I might come around and have a look. If not, um, so be it. You can tell them through message, but 
This actually stamps out any other competition because you have approached the person who's got this thing maybe sitting in their cupboard. Ta houses that I like to target are the ones that are for sale because they're trying to clear a lot of stuff out. They're moving, so they want to get rid of shit. And you might be the right person to come along and snap it up nice and cheap. So it's just a really good strategy, I think. In my opinion, you can get some really good stock from it and you're getting first dibs on it. Nobody else gets to see it. It's not a competition in an op shop, a garage sale. You're not fighting for it all with someone else on Marketplace. You're the only one that has the eyes on this because you've advertised for it. So this is my favorite way of sourcing 100% and you can do it through lockdown because you go out, throw it in the letterbox and we just wait till next week when we're allowed back out and then we go and pick up the items. But they are just three ways that I've been sourced and I just want to show off a bit of the stuff that I've picked up this week and just because the op shops are shut doesn't mean you can't get out there and get some stuff. There's auction houses, there's eBay, there's so many different places where you can get stock, online arbitrage, everything. You know, just do that little bit of research. You've got a bit of extra time if you're off this week and uh, you might find some bargains. So good luck to you. Let me know. I want to hear on Instagram if you do pick up a bit of that stuff. Let me know if you picked up some good hauls from just purely being online because I love that stuff. I love hearing everyone get their success. So thank you very much, Champion. I'm going to see you in the next video.